<coughs> Hello students, this is Sajid Trevor and today I discuss about basis in variety in functional analysis. Very important topic. So first I appeal to all of you to subscribe this channel. Subscribe. Get such kind of videos. And if you like then like these videos. And if you like then share with your friends. And if you have any size, then comment. So let's start. If we take the orthonormal set, if we consider the orthonormal set E. Is a orthonormal set normal set. Hilliwatt space, <coughs> Hilliwatt space, Hilliwatt space each. Then. summation of this can be finite or countably finite mode of the inner product of x a vector to the <coughs> members of the orthogonal orthonormal set this h must be less than equal to normal so <clears throat> and this is true for for all x belonging to e so this is very important and proof is also very important so let's prove Actually, <coughs> if we uh, give this set uh, the name S, then you can look this. If S is empty, then it will be S is if S is empty, then the inner product must be zero equal to zero, and the this real is trivial. So we will take this S is non-empty. So we will take uh, let Yes, yes, is equal to summation is equal to this set of orthogonal set. So, yes, is empty and non empty. We first take the S is non empty, otherwise, the reality is trivially true. So, S is non empty. If S is non empty, then there is a question that S is a finite number of members or count only infinite number of members. First, we consider, first we consider that S is, S is finite. First, we consider AC finite. Now, if AC is finite, then it is very easy to, easy, easy to prove. Now, <coughs> we have to prove that 
summation i equal to 1 to n n is a finite number mod of x di we square is then equal to mod of the norm of x whole square first we took for finite case and for this we will take that Now we will take this that always 0 is less than equal to this norm norm of <coughs> x minus summation I am writing in finite case uh, mod of x x e i e i this norm must be greater than or equal to 0 oh, every, every norm is greater than or equal to 0 and if it, yeah, it is 0 or if and only if this is equal to 0 so we can take it is greater than or equal to 0 now, if we write it in the inner product, what will be? Inner product. <coughs> So you now uh, we, we now break it uh, in the inner product rule. So we can break it in this way. minus First, uh, uh, one through this uh, taking it is a one element, and uh, I pass then I will break the second times so x minus. Now we, I take again, it will be x, number of x is minus <coughs> x, n, x, e i, Just we have to use the basic knowledge of the operation in, <coughs> in the near product and norm and you can very easily calculate this. So it broke. 
Big dog. And now it uh, will be it. Plus, here will be will get I am putting here that uh, the place is small so I am putting a sort sort way that inner product can be written down as the <coughs> norm so I am writing in the of norm, this is the norm of summation A X We have we have to do some more operation in this. <clears throat> what we have to do further? I'm taking in that one. So this will be norm of A square minus summation. I yield 1 to n here it will be it will be written uh, <coughs> this will be x pi and X I will be a <coughs> constant one. So can you take a constant one and we uh, keep it out on the norm? And here will be a conduit. <coughs> now again minus here will be summation. I, I will do 
1 to n here will be summation x x i uh, one thing it will notice that it will be e i uh, inner product of e i to x and uh, it, uh, it is uh, in this first element so it cannot be can conjugate but if this this can be conjugate if we write down uh, uh, in this order it will be e x e i conjugate <coughs> now here this norm plus norm of e i will be one and uh, here the norm of this inner product remember and uh, this fact that uh, we have here you a direct norm uh, direct uh, norm here but here one thing is to be noticed that here we have a conjugate of course uh, we'll get a conjugate that's why here will be we have to put a mod <coughs> here uh, say of the second term of the multiple uh, when the inner product is uh, uh, on the operation then for the second term we will get the conjugate and that's why the modulus will come so So here will be also this will be not easier actually this will be actually easier and um, there if you uh, uh, if you not uh, you can uh, play back and look very carefully that here a, on the multiplication of two terms a, a conjugate will come okay, for which it, there will be a mod of this inner product and uh, there will be a square and norm of ei will be 1 so we finally get this term uh, in mod of this ei mod of This term. Now, if we write down again, this will be now we cancel uh, from this, we also get the same. So, we cancel both this term, and we will we can write this. This will be summation in mod of uh, x inner product of x i. So you can very easily look that this is actually better than equal to better than equal to this. So we for finite case we can very easily prove the basal inequality. But for this infinite case, not only totally infinite case, how we can prove this? For infinite case, S the set of orthonormal set will be S will be 
in this case will be <coughs> e1 e2 en and more. so for, this is the case of infinite case in this case we have to know that if this summation i equal to 1 to infinity now is absolutely convergent if it is absolutely convergent then uh, it does not matter that uh, how you will arrange the collection from this uh, I have already uh, given that for the finite case if we, there is not a matter of arrangement you can uh, take any any uh, uh, element from this normal set thus it depends on this s so if you rearrange and you will take any uh, collection of any element you can take en en and en en plus 1 and any other other collection uh, of n elements then it cannot exceed this norm of x square so when it will uh, this is uh, in, uh, this is a convergent a absolutely convergent so it must be a convergent series convergent series now if it is a convergent then every partial sum does not matter how you will get from this also from our set every part of, uh, uh, partially convergent um, series and uh, must less than equal to norm of x norm of x is there. so here it is that uh, uh, point that uh, it is a convergent series means uh, it is a it is a um, monotonically decreasing series and every collection you can take are um, uh, it does not matter how you will erase this uh, or you will collect the um, orthogonal set every uh, mm, mm, this series must be less than equal to this uh, norm uh, norm c square so uh, if we will carry out a continuum uh, if you will take it up to infinite so so <clears throat> the collections or partially sum of the series all are um, all cannot exceed this so in this term we can recall, can very easily write down that since it is a convergent this is a big point this is a convergent so we can write that for infinite case also hold for this for this <coughs> relation and this is true for infinite case also so this is the basal inequality i hope you <coughs> understood and uh, if you like this video then like and share with your friend and if you have any question then ask me in comment box comment me Thanks, thanks for watching.